Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm glad we got a bit of distance because I feel like after this and the princess, you could quite easily kick my ass. So Probably. I think that's a, that's Listen, a good thing. I think that, well, especially with these earrings, when I take them off, they're like... They are, I mean... They could be deadly. Yep. Have you enjoyed this part of your career that you've been able to do all these all these things? Because it's it must be an exciting time. It's it's so exciting. I mean, I I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, this is my life. Like, what the hell? Um, I'm really enjoying this kind of just like new era. I feel like I'm entering for myself. It's really cool. Which uh, do you find uh, has been more difficult for you? All of the fight training that you've had to do for this, and obviously what you did for the princess, or shaving your head? Because that's I mean, I can't talk, I haven't got any hair, but that must be equally daunting task. So which one did you kind of prefer? Um, I think as far as difficulty, like uh, wrapping my head around, I think the fight training uh, for the princess especially, because I didn't have too much in this, um, was so, I'd never done that before, it was so hard. Uh, shaving my head, I was like, cut it off, whatever, it'll grow back eventually. I just don't, I don't know why I don't really care about my hair. You can do whatever you want to it, I'm like, Whatever. <laughs> I love that film, by the way. Wish I was here. Thank you. Um, the other thing I was going to ask you was about, uh, obviously now there's lots of uh, social media and obviously had these really trendy phones and everything else and you get to use one of these kind of old school flip phones. How much fun was that? Because you don't get to see them all the time. It's like a step back in time in some respects. It is. And I also love the fact that my character is obviously like so sharp edged and smart and monochromatic and like this is set on a bullet train, a very modern, very heightened technology film and Prince is just out here with a fucking flip phone. It's so like, it just makes her that much cooler to me that I'm just like, that is such a choice. I love it. <laughs> uh, and I mean, amazing cast, but obviously Brad Pitt is a big draw for oh, a lot of people. Yeah. That dude, you know, BP they call him apparently. Uh, what's it like working with someone like him? Because his career, him as a person, I mean, it must've been great as a young, did he give you any good advice? Uh, for your rest of your career? Was he a very warm person? So warm, so wonderful. Um, just like only the best memories uh, about working with him and also doing this tour with him has been so fun. Um, I mean, advice wise, absolutely. There's, uh, like, there's something to be said about someone who's been in it as long as him, who's been through so much and who has been through all like the public scrutiny and everything and uh, is still like, such a wonderfully nice professional human being who's just like so easy to be around. Um, and there are some things I'd gone through and been going through while we were shooting Bullet Train that I just like opened up about and he was so helpful and just so wonderful. And uh, I don't know, he's just a real good dude. He seems like a good dude. I mean, I've interviewed him once and yeah. he was like, he's just, that, that hair is just- He's really a lot like he seems when he's talking, he's talking to you. He's just so, he's so easy going. <laughs> Uh, there's some there's some great uh, so it's, we talked off off camera that it's my birthday tomorrow and there's a lot of, Brian talks about Thomas Tank Engine and kind of all that kind of stuff. Do yeah. you have any childhood heroes? Is there someone that's impacted your life when you were a kid in the same way it does Thomas the Tank Engine? Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> someone asked me like if there's any cartoons or shows that impacted my life when I was a kid and I was like no I don't think so. I watched like kind of mm, shows when I was a kid that were just like. That's not, like, I was watching the fucking Teletubbies, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, they changed my life. No, they did not. <laughs> um, there are so many people, though, that came into my life when I was younger. I mean, I grew up around adults, mostly. I was, you know, acting since the age of four. Um, it's just kind of crazy. Like, all the people that I've met, including, like, the people that I grew up with, my family, like, how each person that you encounter, especially at those formative ages, uh, impact the way you move through life when you get a little older. Um, you don't really notice it as it's happening. You can't contextualize it when you're a kid or even a tween or a teen. Um, but now I'm like, so like, for better or for worse, uh, the encounters I've had uh, have really shaped me. And it's just so interesting to notice that as I go back uh, in my memories. It's weird talking to you now because you're in your American accent and the last two things I've seen you and you've been in your British accent. That's right. And I have to say, your British accent is very, very good. Is it a challenge? Because for us Brits, when it's bad, it's really bad. That's what I was afraid so of. So yours is pretty good. Did you have a good <clears throat> teacher? I had a great dialect coach. Her name's Jameson Bryant. Shout out Jameson. Um, we prepared three different accents for David and this is the one that he decided on. All different um, regions in England dialects. Um, and... I absolutely loved working with her and working on this. And when I was shooting the movie, the days I was working, I would just stay in the accent. Um, and Brad thought I was British for the first two weeks and thought that all the things he'd seen me in prior, I was putting on an American <laughs> accent. <laughs> I, 
and I one day I was just like out of it, and he was like, he was talking. Well, he was, I was out of it, and he was like, why are you doing that? Like, what's that? Ha ha ha. And he was like, well, where are you from? And I was like, Simi Valley, California. And he was like, what the hell? Like, are you sure? I was like, yes. so that's testament to how good it was. I know. I was like, oh my god. When, when Aaron told me he thought it was good, that's when I was like, okay, I feel. Yeah, that's the seal of approval right that's, there. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. So lovely to talk to you. Uh, the film's fantastic. You too. Good luck Happy with it. birthday. Thanks, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm going to go and I can celebrate now. Go celebrate, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!